Welcome back to my channel Technology in the Future, your go-to destination for the latest updates in camera technology, photography innovation, and digital imaging breakthroughs. Today, we're tackling one of the most frequently asked questions in the mirrorless world. Where is the Sony A7V? Why has Sony remained silent for so long? And more importantly, is the wait worth it? Let's dive deep into everything we know and everything we've come to expect about the long-anticipated Sony A7V, a camera that's shaping up to be far more than just another incremental upgrade. If you've been holding out for a true next-generation hybrid camera, this might be the one to wait for. Sony A7V, delayed or perfectly timed. It has now been over three and a half years since the Sony A7 IV hit the market back in October 2021, a launch that was met with huge enthusiasm from the hybrid shooter community. Its combination of a 3.3MP full-frame sensor, capable video tools, and improved autofocus made it a go-to device for content creators, YouTubers, event photographers, and indie filmmakers alike. Traditionally, Sony adheres to a two- to three-year refresh cycle for its Alpha series. For example, the gap between the A7 III and A7 IV was under three years. So, what's happening this time? Why the extended silence from the outside? It may seem like Sony is dragging its feet, but a closer look reveals that this delay is likely strategic, not accidental. Why Sony's quiet period might be a tactical move while competitors like Canon, Nikon, and Panasonic have rolled out wave after wave of hybrid mirrorless cameras. The Canon EOS R6 Mark II, Nikon Z6 III, and even Panasonic's S5 to X. To name a few, Sony has taken a noticeably different path. Insiders suggest that Sony has recalibrated its development strategy post-2022. Instead of chasing yearly spec bumps, Sony seems focused on addressing the real-world challenges users experience with the A7 IV, especially thermal throttling during 4000 recording, rolling shutter issues, and limited processing power for next-gen autofocus AI. This signals a new product philosophy, precision over pace. Thermal management, Sony is listing Goni of the most persistent complaints. For May 7 IV users was its tendency to overheat during extended video sessions. Videographers using it for interviews, weddings, or long-format YouTube content often face thermal warnings after only 30 to 40 minutes of 4K shooting. Sony seems determined not to repeat that mistake. Rumors suggest the A7V will feature a completely redesigned passive cooling system with better heat dissipation and airflow optimization. If this is true, the camera could offer unlimited 4K recording times. A game changer for pro content creators. Evidence from Sony's recent patents and product codes fueling anticipation are a slew of new product registrations and patent filings discovered over the last several months. One particularly interesting regulatory listing, WW-70055, is widely believed to be the Sony A7V, based on Sony's historical naming patterns. Even more exciting are patents related to advanced active and passive cooling, high-speed BSI sensors and anti-rolling shutter tech. These filings hint that Sony is engineering the A7V to not just compete, but dominate. In both photography and video segments, refocusing resources, the rise of the ZV and FX series since 2021, Sony has made big moves into specific directions. The FX series, designed for high-end cinema professionals, the ZV series, built for YouTubers, bloggers, and solo creators, this bifurcated approach has allowed Sony to own both ends of the market. From premium cinema rigs to compact content creator kits, the A7V is expected to be the perfect bridge between these two worlds. Combining professional-grade performance with creator-friendly usability, a new sensor, a new standard according to reliable sources, the Sony A7V will retain a 3.3MP full-frame BSICMOS sensor. But with a crucial twist, a brand new architecture designed to significantly improve readout, speeds and reduce rolling shutter. Reportedly, this next-gen sensor will offer up to 60% less rolling shutter distortion, a crucial upgrade for filmmakers and fast-action photographers. Imagine smoother pans. Less motion wobble and near-global shutter performance, especially useful for high-paced genres like sports, wildlife, and live events. I driven autofocus and advanced processing powering the A7V could be an updated Bion's XR processor, or possibly Sony's first eye-enhanced image processor. Integrating machine learning for real-time subject recognition. Expected upgrades include tracking not just eyes and faces, but vehicles, animals, birds, and objects smarter predictions based on movement and behavior patterns, better focus reliability. In low light and complex backgrounds, this would mark a huge step forward for portrait shooters, wedding pros, and nature photographers. 
ensuring razor-sharp focus in even the most challenging environments. ISO performance and low-light enhancements in their standout spec is the rumored ISO range. Native 100 to 51,000 to 100, expandable to a staggering 200 for 1,800. This could translate to a full stop of improvement in low-light performance over the A7 for less noise, more dynamic range, and cleaner shadows. Nighttime shooters, documentary filmmakers, and indoor event photographers are especially likely to benefit. Next level video features for K1 to OP and beyond for videographers. The A7V is shaping up to be a beast. Expected highlights include for K1 to OFPS. 10-bit for the 222 internal recording point 6K oversampling for sharper 4K footage. Enhanced dynamic range and color grading flexibility. Up to 8 stops of IBIS for silky handheld footage. In other words, this is a serious upgrade from the A7 IV, and it puts the A7V in direct competition with models. Like the Canon R5, Panasonic S5 to X, and Nikon Z6 III display viewfinder. And handling improved immensity is expected to refine the physical shooting. Experience 2, a 3.69M. Old EVF with better brightness and color accuracy. A fully articulating rear touchscreen. Rumored to have higher brightness and faster touch response. Enhanced menu navigation using the latest UI updates found in recent Sony models. These enhancements are particularly important for vloggers, solo shooters, and hybrid creators working outdoors or in dynamic shooting setups. Connectivity. Built for modern workflows in a creator-driven era. Fast and seamless connectivity is essential. The A7V will reportedly include dual card slots, USB-C 10 gigabits per second for tethered shooting and quick transfers, Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 for rapid wireless file management, remote control and live streaming capabilities directly to platforms like YouTube, or OBS, this combination of features makes it ideal for professionals who need speed, redundancy, and mobile control. Strategic Summer 2025 Launch Window Current whispers from industry insiders point to a June or July 2025 release, right in time for summer announcement events and ahead of the fall buying season. This timing would allow Sony to give the ZV series its spotlight in early 2025 while building anticipation for a flagship. Hybrid it also positions the A7V to ride the back to school and create a gear upgrade wave. Who is the Sony A7V really for? Sony seems to be targeting several core audiences, hybrid creators needing pro quality stills and video in one body. YouTubers and solo filmmakers who demand compact power, wedding and event photographers needing great AF and low light tools, A7. 3. A7C users who skipped the A7IV and now want a significant upgrade. This is not just an upgrade. It's a clear signal from Sony that they are still in command of the hybrid mirrorless segment. Final thoughts. The wait may be worth it while. It's easy to get impatient with Sony's slower release cadence. The development of the A7V appears to be the result of strategic refinement, not neglect. Sony seems to be watching the market carefully, identifying where others have stumbled, and planning a camera that addresses long-standing pain points, if executed correctly. The A7V could reaffirm Sony's position as the leader in the hybrid mirrorless space, and offer creators the kind of all-in-one performance that's often promised, but rarely delivered. And if you found this deep dive informative, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more in-depth tech analysis, camera leaks, and creator gear insights. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Are you waiting for the Sony A7V? Or have you already moved on to Canon, Nikon, or Fujifilm? Until next time, stay creative, and keep shooting.